if you didn't know i wish i knew this before but if you didn't know you can actually apply if you're qualified if you have the qualifying factors and if you have finished all your high school um requirements or your homeschooling requirements or whatever you can actually like apply to college at a young age i know someone that is a um that got into college at 15 we got some 16 year olds 17 year olds so you don't have to necessarily ha um, be a senior All right, so the plan is, or was, or still is, that I will be posting high school videos, but I would like to post some college videos. I'm not in college yet, but I can tell you my experience of getting to colleges and just the college process for incoming seniors that are gonna apply or anyone in general that are going are are planning to apply to college this time around all right so as you guys know i'm going into my first year as a freshman in college i'm going to be a freshman in college and i I am going to Framingham State. Should have worn my shirt, but I'll wear it in another video. But basically, all throughout July, August, and part of September, just the, I think just the first week of September or just the first few days of September, I will be doing videos about like back to school stuff. And hopefully, by this time next year, I could actually do a giveaway for students. That would be so awesome, but. Where the money at though with the money at you know hopefully like i get more viewers like more subscribers so i can see who i can actually give the giveaway to but for now we're just gonna talk about the um advice i have for you and stuff so the first video i did about like school stuff was a high school video for freshmen's advice i did the part one and part two should be up before this video goes up hopefully yeah yeah i'm pretty sure yeah so part two of the high school freshman advice will go up and then i have some advice for sophomores juniors and seniors coming up too um this video will be about the college process so this is m targeted mostly for seniors incoming seniors and just like anyone in general do, that is um applying for college and doesn't know the process because if you didn't know i wish i knew this before but if you didn't know you can actually apply if you're qualified if you have the qualifying factors and if you have finished all your high school um requirements or your homeschooling requirements or whatever you can actually like apply to college at a young age i know someone that is a um that got into college at 15 we got some 16 year olds 17 year olds so you don't have to necessarily ha um, be a senior you can have um the requirements all set up you can finish school early and then go off to college early like it's amazing and i wish i knew that because it's like you get to start your your life early and finish before everyone else and just keep on moving you know but you know it is what it is and life goes on it doesn't matter which pathway you take you will get to the um the finishing point in the end so it doesn't matter how it goes as long as it goes and it goes smoothly that's all that matters all right so we're gonna be talking about the process of applying to college and stuff and this is the time this is why i'm making the videos early i know some of my viewers will be like oh th these videos are coming out way too early but honestly it's good to start early because then you're ahead of the game and you know what you're doing and you're prepared all right so for my advice for you guys right now is around this time the summertime i know because of covid it's gonna be a little bit ugh, tricky but my advice would have been to go out onto campuses and feel the vibes of schools around your neighborhood or around your liking, all right? But because of COVID, you're probably gonna have to look at online campus tours, which really sucks. But 
I guess it is what it is. And if you feel like that you can make it to your a school campus, you can walk around, but I'm pretty sure you can't go inside into any buildings. You can walk around and feel the vibe of school, but you won't be seeing, you won't really get the full vibe because there are a lot of students on campus right now. So you're just gonna get like a glimpse of the campus, but you won't feel the real vibe, you know? Um, another thing I would recommend right now is getting a list down of what you see in a school. Like what makes you comfortable when you talk about going to a school for four years or for two years or for how many years you're going to a college or a university or whatever. Um, what do you see in a, in a college or a university? Do you see it to be um, big? A big, do you want a big campus? Do you want a small campus? A medium-sized campus? Do you want to um, your classes to be close by so you're not, you know, practically looking for your classes on the first day? Do you want your um, your campus to be um, all buildings close together or far apart where you have to take shuttle buses for, to get from point A to point B? Or do you want, like, you know, there's so many aspects that go into looking for uh, a perfect college space for you. Like, you have to consider the dorm sizes and how the dorms are set up. Some of them are modern, some of them are traditional, some of them are Victorian. There's so many types of um, living spaces too. Um, I know for some colleges, maybe freshman year you stay in a dorm, but after freshman year you have to get your own apartment. That Like, there's so many aspects into looking at at schools dining the food that you're gonna eat what 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 are you paying for what kind of food are you paying for will you be um wasting your dining dollars on restaurant food or will you be wasting it on the dining hall food like what are you paying for you know you need to pay for what it's worth what what you like you're not just throwing away money for just to go to a school don't go to a school where um your friends are all going go to a school where you feel that you fit in and you feel comfortable and you feel like you're living the life there you know i don't know if i'm getting it right but that that's like some of the basics into looking for colleges there's so many um sites that you can use to help you choose um college um to choose your college list right um, we have College Board. We have so many um, sites. And I'll link them all down below in the description box down below. There are so many sites that can help you um, with this process in getting to point A to point B, like what you want to see, what you want to do. Um, um, you can look into the clubs that the schools offer, the sports they may offer, what division they rank as. You know, some people like Division Three, some like Division Two, II, Division One. Um, sports play, can play into your options, right? Um, the the major you want to take. Some schools are better off with the major you want. So if you're you're gonna major into accounting, maybe look into the schools that are for accounting or schools that are um, based off of that, that only that um, major, because maybe you can benefit more there than in other places that are not so keen on that major. Look, there's so many things you have to look into it. And if you guys have any questions, you can always email me or comment down below about this stuff. So I can try and make another video about this and tell and advising you guys on um where to go where you can go wrong on this um college adventure and you know you don't want to end up in a college or a university where you're like dang i wish i went to that other place because this place is so or this place ha doesn't have or this place is this and that you know you don't want to regret where you're going right i i know that like because of COVID, some things are a little iffy right now, but try to make the best out of your list. There's so many websites. I will link them down below where you can find um, resources and help on trying to get the, the schools you want. Ask questions, ask your teachers, your, your um, ask people you know, people that are in college right now. If you don't have anyone that um, you can really ask for find youtubers on YouTube that can also help you. I'm also here to help 
um, find people that are willing to help you and willing to guide you in this college process because we do need help. Everyone needs help with this process, especially if you're first gen like me. Um, it's a process and I know you will get through it. It's okay. It takes time and it's be that's why I was saying it's better to start now than later. Start now so you can set down some ground rules and understand what where you have to go with this stuff and you're so you're not dead in the tracks they don't leave you dead in the tracks you know you start now then you're you're you know you're really you get ahead of the game then you can also you know probably teach your classmates how to apply for college or whatever some college processes are let me say how should i say this some college processes are very different, especially Ivy League schools and stuff. They they ask for more. Some colleges and um, universities, pri private and public schools, they they both ask for different things. So be aware of that. Be aware that private schools may ask for more documents. So have that ready. When I talk about documents, I mean like um, stuff to do with like taxes and stuff. I'll get into that in a later video, but like there's so much more they ask for. So have that ready and probably ask your parents ahead of time. So when it comes to time, you're ready to fill out the application. You have everything ready and you're not scrambling for the la in the last minute, you know? And some of these, especially during this time, some of these colleges and universities are gonna expand the time, the time deadline, the time limit for applications just because of the COVID and what's going on. And you know, the process is gonna be crazy, especially because you guys are not gonna be, so most of us might not be in school to get the advice and to get the guidance we need. So we might have to do this all on our own. The application deadlines might be extended a little more for you guys. So that's an advantage for you guys. Take, um, take advantage of that. Don't abuse it. Don't procrastinate and wait till the last minute because you end up missing spots and you end up um messing up your application try to stay on time you know what like when you're finished with a, a task you get to like chill and calm down because you know you've done it if you've done it successfully you've done it correctly to the point you know another thing that also fits into this is test scores I don't know if it's going to be a big thing because of COVID. Some of you have not even taken a test yet, which is unbelievable. But because of this whole process, I don't know. So most schools, I'm pretty, pretty sure they're not going to take tests, which is totally fine. When I was applying, some of the schools didn't even care about my test scores, but I still sent them in anyways. But some of them, they didn't take it as a major thing. So you guys are in luck. In luck. Some of the schools might not even care about the test that, like, they might not even take test scores into consideration. So you guys are in luck for that. College process is very exciting, all right, guys? It's very exciting. But the way you take it, the way you um, make this process go, the way you allow this process to go is how it will turn out for you. It's very exciting. As long as you're on top of things and you know what you're doing and you're asking questions and you're not afraid to ask questions, this process goes well, very well for people. I promise you guys, I promise. Just ask questions when you need to because this process is very hard. Just get a list of things that you wanna see in a college down and you'll find the right college for you don't go to a college just because your friends are going your cousins going your boyfriends going your girlfriends going or whatever's going go to a college that fits your needs and you feel that in your heart is best for you all right go to a college that is calling your name go to a college that when you step on the campus or when you saw it online you felt the vibe you felt the vibe Go to a college that makes you feel alive. Go to a college that puts a smile on your face. All right. You guys already know what to do. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications. So you know when I post. So you're ready to watch my videos when it's posted out. Right at the second, you're the first one to watch and comment. All right? All right? If you haven't, if you haven't subscribed and you want to subscribe, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below this video.
The reason why you should uh, subscribe is you can join the rest of the empire as we learn, grow, and glow as kings and queens for God's glory. I know, I know you want to glow and grow with us. So click that subscribe button to be a part of the SC's empire. Stay blessed. Thanks for watching. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey y'all, back again with another video. Banga after banga after banga after banga. Hey, banga after banga after banga after banga. Hey. And as always, you've made it this far. I love you guys so much. Watch more of my videos here and here. See you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.